Hey, welcome to Strategically Styled. My name is Lisa. I am a woman over 50 and this channel is dedicated to helping you achieve your style goals. And to that end, today we're going to be talking about five ways to mix and match your prints and patterns with confidence. So if that sounds good, please stay tuned. But before we get into it, I will ask that if you like this video, I mean at any point you like the video, literally, like the video, click the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It helps my channel. Click the subscribe button so you can join our community here and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is uploaded. Typically that takes place on Sundays, but around here you never know and you don't want to miss it. So mixing and matching our prints and patterns with confidence. One of the most inspirational designers that I have found who always does a fantastic job of mixing and matching the textures and the prints is Ralph Lauren. And here you can see this. This is from a collection several seasons ago. This striped shirt with these print pants looking very fabulous. And then this nice, rich, luxurious fall look where we've got the tweed and the print on the sweater and the scarf and the slight window paint window pane plaid on the pants and look at sis in the back with the argyle socks bringing it um there are some influencers that i like to follow on instagram who do a fantastic job with mixing and matching prints on a regular basis and if you're interested in that you should definitely give them a follow i will link their pages below one of them is Sabra at My Style Is My Brand. And one of the things I love is beyond just her fantastic style is that she also is very focused on intentionality and upon sustainability. And what I would highly recommend you do is go to the top of her feed, click on the link to her blog and just fully immerse yourself in Sabra's world. It's just all fabulous there all the time one of the things I found on her site was a link to this other site which I wasn't familiar with it's called style crush and style crush is another reseller site I found this great skirt this purple plaid skirt and it's everything everything except my size it's a small and it says it fits like a small so I'm not gonna mess with it but girl Anyway, this other influencer, her name is Dee Dee and her page is Textile Mixologist. I love just looking at her feed, just all the colors and patterns. It just, it just makes me happy. I'm just, I'm just happy about what's going on here. Same deal. Go to her link to visit her blog. Um, and I found this other site when I was on her blog because she's also very focused on sustainability and upcycling and just doing all the things, um, shopping values and just being super intentional, things that I am very interested in as well. I found this site called Lucky Sweater, which is a swapping fashion site where you post your items and then find somebody else who has things posted and then you contact each other and arranged to trade it out. I haven't used the app yet. I'm looking forward to doing it when I have some free time, but I did download the app and I'm ready. I'm ready. So anyway, those are some places you might look for inspiration. I'm a little off theme with my OOTD. This is just exactly what I wore to work and I'm not really mixing or matching any prints. I have on this striped uh, shirt from JC Penny the jet well you know, let me just put it all out there the shirt the denim jacket and the ankle boots all from JC Penny the um, handbag is by a brand called Boston tin and it was on Amazon and it's just over $85 at least as of today of this filming these pants they are by Lee they are called the Lee slouchy pant they are no longer available new, but you can find them on the resale market. I should note that they have this conspicuous Lee label on the back pocket. I removed mine, um, but if you like it, go on and keep it there. And they do come in different colors. So you may be able to find some if you really like them or a pair similar to that. So anyway, that is my OOTD. 
So now I want to get into some tips for mixing and matching prints. So first tip number one is start small. And by start small, I mean, um, I have here just this same striped shirt and I have these leopard boots. I got these from eBay some time ago and a thrifted scarf that obviously was thrifted that has just some nice fall colors and I'm wearing it with this little blazer that was also thrifted. So not doing too much here. I'm not bringing full on Ralph Lauren, but you know, just adding just a little something, just baby steps. So number one, start small. Tip number two, find a common color. So in this next outfit, you will see the common color here is black. So I have this red and black blazer and this white and black houndstooth blouse and the same JCPenney skirt and Amazon boots. So that is my second tip is to find a common color that is in your different prints that kind of unites them and brings them together. Now another variation on the theme of common color is let me show you this is a sweatshirt it is um, from Malone it was a college that my one of my sons attended and I am layering it over this um, shirt from JCPenney and I don't know if this is really showing up here but this embroidery on the shirt it is um, very raised and textural which just makes it extra yummy so very pleased with that so I have the sweatshirt over the shirt and obviously the common colors here are red white and blue and with this old um, skirt cargo skirt that I've had for some time and these Amazon boots and then if it got like extra chilly I would throw on this coat and I'll just show you the belt so you can see the texture up close when I saw guys it was the fringe for me so anyway this coat is by cabbie it is called the regency coat it is again no longer available i got mine from poshmark last christmas time ish and i got mine new with the tags and you can still find them you can look for a cabbie regency coat and you can find some on the resale market and if you're interested hopefully you can find them in your size so that is number two find a common color Number three is look for a complementary color. So here, and can we do a video without seeing this green and white dress? Probably not. This is my favorite dress. Once again, it is not available, but I did find out what it was called and I will put that somewhere maybe in the description box. So if you are interested, you can find a few here and there on the resale market, limited sizes, obviously. So I am putting that with this tweed jacket and the tweed jacket it is um, thrifted it is oversized which I got intentionally simply so I could have something that I could actually wear over a sweater or something bulkier in the colder months and within it it has red as part of the pattern so here's the thing complementary colors are colors that are the opposite exactly opposite each other on the color wheel so green is the opposite of red and so having this little bit of red in here really connects this blazer to the green in the dress and makes it look just a little more okay pulled together and I added this red scarf just to really draw out the red in the blazer a little more so complementary colors are another way to mix and match your prints number four treat animal print like solids so I know you're thinking the zebra the leopard the tiger stripes the whatever if you have these repetitive prints that are typically tend to be just two colors usually especially if it's in a smaller scale you can just put it with pretty much anything and it's going to look good and it's actually going to look very rich and very luxe so once again back to ralph here the animal print scarf mixed with this plaid blazer and it just looks cool 
and a little dramatic and a little bit like, wow, you're doing a lot when all you did was put on an animal print scarf with your plaid blazer. So here I am using this base outfit, which happens to be a thrifted Ralph Lauren pinstripe shirt with some black Zarafa leather shorts. And I am gonna just pair it with the leopard print because that is the print animal print du jour of this household. Although I do love zebra, but we digress. So here I have a leopard print coat. This is old, someone gave it to me. Um, leopard print shoes. These shoes are by Stride Right. They are available on Amazon. A thrifted leopard print belt. And my favorite, I think, is this Amazon Essentials leopard print sweater, which I have just draped just so over my shoulders. And that is probably my favorite of the ways of wearing the leopard print with another print. And then finally, Tip number five is you can break up the sea of print just to give your eye a break. So breaking up the print, I am wearing this time and true blanket faux wrap skirt that I got like new from Macari. And I've just recently been getting into Macari. It's also a resale app and I got this skirt like new, still with the tag, for $5. And this skirt is not available new anymore. However, there are a number of them available on the resale market if you like it. And like I said, it has the weight of a blanket. And um, so it's gonna be very warm. It has elastic in the waistband. I would say possibly size down. I got a medium and it's a little, bigger I could have probably gotten away with the small in this particular skirt so anyway I am wearing that with the now infamous sheer jacket and let me just show you the pattern of this um, that I wear all the time on this channel obviously for cooler months I would wear something underneath it maybe a black turtleneck something like that and even though these are not a precise match following principle number two they clearly have common colors and not only that but even the common patterns just the repetition of the squares so i'm wearing with the black amazon boots and the boss tin tin uh, yellow leather bag and i really like that but if i thought i was just doing too much what i might do is put on um a vest maybe just to break it up just a little bit and um, yes yeah, so this vest is something that I thrifted over the past summer I also found this small scale gray tweed blazer from Goodwill that I am pairing with it as well because even though it's another print the scale of it is so small from the distance it probably even looks like a solid color and it just kind of quiets it down a little bit and then if I wanted a more traditional um, variation of this, I might just wear a more classic sweater vest. So here is a solid black one. I got this from a brand called Free AC a few years ago, but you can just commonly go pretty much anywhere and find a solid black sweater vest or any color sweater vest that just doesn't have a lot of embellishment and will do the job of breaking up a sea of print just to just to quiet just a little bit so anyway those are my tips for styling and mixing and matching prints and patterns so comment down below if you are somebody who likes to mix prints or are you more of a i just keep it solid and neutral or only one print at a time Anyway, I'm trying to be that person who goes all in with her prints because my wardrobe is a sea of mostly solids and just every now and then a uh, print blouse or top. But anyway, that's how we're rolling over here. So anyway, thank you for watching and until we meet again, I hope your day is blessed and stylish.